2023 breaking news Osibanjo Amechi Tinubu told by APC to reveal their plans to end insecurity. Hello, my wonderful people. I think that's a good one. They should prove and, you know, show to everyone. They should come out and have a debate. Okay, we know debate is not um, all it is, but, I mean, they should come out and um, let us know, you know, they should speak out. We don't want another Buhari who cannot approach the people, who cannot speak with the people. Because Nigerians, let me tell you something. You may say, no, we don't want another APC, blah, blah. If people do not vote for the right candidates, if nobody goes out there to vote for either, for any of the candidates they believe in, could potentially be the one to solve the situation. Trust me, we're going to be going from, from we're going to be going from, we're going to get around the circle in the same vein again and over and over again. Because whether you like it or not, all things being equal, this election holds. It's from one of these men that you see currently now that will be inaugurated on May 29, 2023. If election holds, all things being equal, the sky has not come down. Okay? The sky is still in the heavens. Everything remains equal. It's from one of these men. Let's get all the details. Breaking news 2023. APC told Osibanjo Amechi Tinubu to reveal plans to end insecurity. Popular media personality has expressed concern over the lingering insecurity as the 2023 election draws near. Ask APC to reveal all aspirants should be reviewed and asked to declare their intention to run for the office of the presidency, declaring it with elaborate statement on how they intend to manage and to solve the problem of insecurity currently ongoing. They said the likes of Osibanjo, Tinubu, Rotimi, Atiku, Peter Obi, and others, all presidential aspirants, APC, PDP, whatever party they belong, should tell Nigerians categorically, practical, practical plans, step by step, how they will intend to tackle insecurity. Said they are all they all need to clear the air and tell us on practical terms how they intend to go about it, what will they do first, and how will they get through it. This is coming few hours after the Vice President Yemi Osibanjo declares to succeed President Muhammad Buhari come 2023. Osibanjo in his declaration speech on Monday morning 7 a.m. promised to radically tackle insecurity, a problem stirring reaction online as Nigerians wondered if he would have he would do anything different from his principle. Presently, under the All Progressive Congress APC, Yemi Osibanjo, Rotimi Amechi, Ashiwaju, Ahmed Bola Tinubu, Yahaya Belu, David Omahi, Roger Shokorocha have declared intention to run all from the southern region of the country. Under the People Democratic Party, we have Peter Ubi, Atiku Abubakar, Bukola Sereke, Newsom Wike, Pius Angi, Amini Tebowa, Dele Momod have all declared intention to also succeed Buhari in 2023. These aspirants are yet to disclose how they plan to rescue Nigerians from kidnapping, banditry, terrorism in parts of the country ongoing. And Nigerians are asking, what is the plan? A big question they need to answer every one of us. What is the plan? Because you don't come and give us Coke and stories. That's what we've been getting for a long time now. We don't want it anymore. Honestly speaking, we are tired. We don't want the repetition of the same thing over and over again. Because it's only a stupid man, yeah, that will continue with the same thing you've been, that you've been getting the same result and then you're expecting a different result. You put in the same quantity of sugar, you put in the same quantity of flour that you always do. Um, if you put the same time mixing, you mix it for the same, uh, you know, and you do everything the same way. And you're expecting a different result. I don't know how you intend. Maybe you want to shake the magic wand and just perform some magic. Probably that's what you intend to do. You just want to perform some magic. Yeah. So this is what exactly it's going on right now. 
Okay, this is exactly what is going on right now. And the question remains, what do you intend to do? How do you want to solve the problem? What are the what what are the step by step things you have put in place that you intend to put, you know, to do to ensure that all this comes to an end? Because we can't continue with the same thing over and over again and be expecting a different result. It doesn't work that way. It does not just work. It doesn't work that way. So that's why the time to advance and to make, move forward, to make real tangible change and differences is now. So at the end of the day, we are happier, better people. We can't continue like this, not, not ever again. We've come too far to be bamboozled around, okay, by just anybody or whatever they think they have. The time to advance and to move forward is now. What is going on with us? How come nobody's really speaking? As we speak, in case you are not aware, I keep reiterating it again. Buhari is abroad. He said it's going on holiday. And you heard me. That's why I emphasized it. I emphasized it. Holiday. Yeah, that he has worked a lot. He needs to rest. Do you, do you see where we are coming from? Do you know that people's family, 167 of them, is with bandits or terrorists? Do you know what they said? They said they don't want money. That Buhari knows what they want. They don't want money. Buhari knows what they want. And that they should come and give it to them. They need to have a conversation with Buhari. Remember in 2015, this man brought them in. You know, thinking that um, Jonathan will fight that he won the election and all that. Jonathan was the first person to call him to say congratulations. If I have declared you the winner, so be it. He was shocked. But he never went back to settle his people he brought in. Whom he told that there is abundant land in Nigeria and uh, you know and it belongs to them if not for the british that came that stopped usman damfodo from spreading and from continuing on his conquest that that nigeria actually belongs to them you know there is still that uh, that narrative going on in that circle so people feel that the other person needs to be displaced because it belongs to them originally you see and if somebody is the one propagating and propounding that idea that ideology and when, what do you do when you feel cheated? You want to remedy the situation. So people are going at all lengths, even killing their neighbor, the next person. And they will, they will justify it and let you know that it's acceptable. Yeah, the person is on their space. I don't know how they live with yourself. What is happening? Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a good day. Mm -hmm. Bye for now. Bye.